Hello, hello, Dr. Cliff, your movement recovery specialist, and welcome back to Breakfast at the Office. This is our second episode of my 2019 fitness journey. Today I'm drinking a little bit of uh, community coffee. I did a review on it. It was one of our higher scoring coffees last month. Uh, if you want to see that video, I'll put a link up here somewhere. Uh, as I said, this is episode two, so if you missed the first episode, you might want to go back and watch that as well. I'll put a link for that up here somewhere as well. It's been a pretty good week. Uh, a couple frustrations with real life, right? which happens to everybody. But as far as my exercise and my eating, Things have gone well. I think I've lost a good deal of weight already. I can start to feel a difference in my body. Remember the first week of any new eating plan for most people, you'll lose some weight. It's mostly water weight, but it's still weight. I've had this question from a couple people that are like, well, you know, oh, you lost, I don't know, make up a number. You lost five pounds the first day. Isn't that just all water weight? Well, a good deal of it maybe, depending on how much water you're drinking and all that. But it's still less stress on your heart and lungs, less stress on your joints, especially me standing all day, less, less stress on my feet and ankles that are sometimes an issue. So, yes, it's probably fluid, but it's fluid that my body is retaining that it shouldn't have been any. Now, if I go outside in the summer, 100 degrees outside, working in the yard, or riding my bike, or running, and in an hour I lose like 8, 10 pounds, and then I and then I go and drink a big bottle of water, and I gain most of that weight right back. That was water weight loss. It's not really very real. But if you lose that weight and it's still not there a few days later. That was more some kind of fluid that your body was hold, or holding on to because of, you know, other junk that was in your body that you probably shouldn't have had there to start with. Today, it's a little chilly outside. You know, for me in South Florida where I'm a bit spoiled. I think it's like 55 degrees. I'm going to go do my mile run. You may have seen just the tail end of my uh, run last week actually did a little bit more of a video about that but it just didn't come together the way I like so maybe at the end of the month we'll have all of my mile runs for the month and, and just see how I progress but I'm gonna go out and do my run and we'll see where I'm at compared to last month second cup of coffee but it's cold outside hey right? maybe not cold for most of the country but cold if you live in South Florida uh, 54 with a pretty good breeze coming off the ocean so it didn't really feel like it was 54 I ran faster than last week that's the goal I probably could have run a little faster but it's still dark it's only about 6 o'clock now, so it was before 6 when I went running. Uh, and last week I ran right after 7 when the sun was already up. Going out to breakfast with the family. So I wanted to get the run in. And that's why I'm not eating it. Breakfast can be a little tricky with my new eating plan. So, I wouldn't say that I'm, well, maybe I would say, I'm a little apprehensive about breakfast. I, say that. I go to the same place every Sunday. People know me, I know them, very 
very good little diner, family owned. I get the same meal every Sunday. It's just how I am. It hasn't even been on the menu for like three years, but we still make it. Part of that meal involves chocolate chip pancakes. So, I have to find something else to eat. It sounds like a simple thing, but sometimes the simplest things can be the hardest to change. So, that's my challenge of the morning, I'll say, is figure out what I'm doing. Little changes for a long time make much bigger difference than just big drastic changes in everything the first week of the new year. Most of us get all excited, well, maybe not most, a lot of people say, get all excited, Woo! it's the new year! Now, um, this whole new year, new me, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Just make small changes. Small changes over time add up. Just like weight training, right? If you can lift 10 pounds today, and next week you lift 11 pounds, and next week you lift 12 pounds, and at the end of the year you're suddenly lifting 60 pounds. That's a huge difference. If you lift 10 pounds this week and you try to lift 20 pounds next week, you're going to be real sore, or injured, which is worse. And then you're not gonna feel like doing anything, and then suddenly it'll be halfway through the year and you're still lifting 10 pounds. So, small changes, like for me today, no pancakes. Maybe an avocado instead, we'll see. Speaking of that, I need to get weight. Oh, did I tell you my running time? It was 10 minutes and 31 seconds, I believe. 10 and 30 something, pretty sure. 30. Last week it was 10.50. So, the goal for the month is to try to run a sub 10 minute mile. Used to be just a normal thing, but that used to be was uh, a long time ago. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm just going to focus on where we're at. Let's go to the scale. Okay. Here we are at the scale. Now, for those of you who weren't here last week, for week one, I was 257.5, I believe. And today, six, uh, six days. First guy gets the scale turned on. Operate scale. There we go. After six days, I am. Go magic scale. There we go. 247.8. So, 9.7 pounds. Almost 10 pounds in the first week. Good. Great. Now, do I think everybody should be able to lose 10 pounds in a week? No. <laughs> if you got on a program and you've been consistent with it, even if your weight stayed the same, or maybe even if your weight's gone up a tiny bit, like a quarter pound, at least you're on a plan. You have to give that plan a week, two, maybe three, to see if it works for you. If your weight isn't changing, or your weight's tipping up a little bit, and you're tracking what you're eating, or you're trying to cut out sugar, or you're trying to you know, do some other specific program, maybe that program's not for you. 
or maybe you just need to slightly adjust your calories up or down or your activity level up or down to get the results you're looking for. There are some people that are trying to gain weight. I realize this. In our modern society in the Western world, that's a rarity. Most people fall into the overweight, obese, like me, morbidly obese. All of these different categories where really losing some weight would be real good for you. But there are people that say, you know, I've always been 140 pound, you know, stick and I'm trying to put on some muscle. I, I get it, you know, mostly men, maybe a woman or two a year, but mostly men, you know, maybe one a month that says, well, I want to have shoulders that look like yours. Well, that doesn't happen in a day or two. You, you need to train properly, eat properly, and you know, genetics do play a role. Although we give a lot of that stuff more credit than Proper training, proper eating, paying attention to all those little things that add up over time make a big difference in your health and fitness. So, down nine and a half pounds, we'll say. Just do I don't want to say ten when it's not ten yet, but getting close. What am I eating? Ah! That we'll talk about next week. But today, not pancakes, that's for sure. Remember, life is a strength sport, so get stronger and get living.